Hello everybody, are you tired of having to go through menus, constantly finding your programs and oh hippo player I want to run some music and there's so many clicks and everything just becomes messy then I'm going to show you a really neat way of just going right click, find your program, there we go. So I've got a standard Amiga OS 3.2 installation that I've made. Uh, you can do this on Amiga OS 3.1 as well, but just for today I'm using 3.2. So I've downloaded uh, the packages that we're going to be using today. So today we're going to be installing Magic Menu. 2.35 is the version that I found on Amunet that works well. Along with this as well, you need a library and you need the GT layout um, library, which you can also find from Amunet. Links are all going to be down in the description, so don't worry about that. And then the third thing that we're going to download as well is the tools daemon. So this uh, is the program that will allow us to make some really cool like shortcuts and help with our uh, speeding up our use of the Amiga. Let's go over to the Amiga. So I've put all those LHA files into a PC folder and I've got that within um, my WinUA setup. And um, what we're going to do is we're just going to extract all these files. So I'm going to open up a new shell. If I can type today, new shell. And then I'm just going to go through each one of these and extract it. Now, don't worry, in the next video that I'm doing, I'm going to show you a, a really cool way of speeding this process up as well, but I'm doing that all in a separate video. So let's do Tools Demons, and then let's do uh, the Magic Menu. Thanks to 3.2, uh, we got the tab completion, which really speeds up things as well. So if you uh, reluctant to, to get Amiga OS 3.2 then just sh purely for that I recommend it um, and what was the final one GT wasn't it GT layout there we go so I only need to remember the first few characters of that uh, file and then it auto completes cool so everything is in the RAM disk now so let's uh, get on with it and set stuff up so uh, first off, we're going to do the libraries. Let's get that out of the way. So we've got uh, two libraries here. We've got one for 6800 processors and we've got one for 020 processors. So um, in my Amiga setup, I, I'm emulating an 020 processor. So that's generally the one that you're going to be going with. If you know specifically if you've got an Amiga 500, then you're going to be using this one but we'll copy that over to our system, copy it over to libraries. And then when you've copied it over to libraries, I think that I've done this already. Yeah. Um, you then rename it. So it just says GT layout dot library. So that's the library done. Next, what we're going to do is copying over magic menu. So there's a couple of files with magic menu move over to the right here we've got the magic menu preferences so as you can imagine that's going to live in our preferences folder so let's drag that over there now okay we've got a guide um, the guide tells you to put the magic menu into the wb startup and i've never seen that actually work it doesn't work properly it just doesn't open up properly so what i tend to do is go to our C folder where all our commands are and I copy magic menu into there. Okay. And then what we need to do then is if I open up another shell, what I'm going to do is type in ed for the editor s colon startup dash sequence. And then I'm going to edit all the way down the bottom and add a command 
to basically, after load WB, I've added it already. Um, I just type in C colon magic menu, because that's where the program is. And then this uh, right arrow nil colon uh, just means that any output coming from that program, it just basically doesn't output it. So that when you're booting up the Amiga, it doesn't come up with any weird um, output at all. So just make sure that once you've added that line in there, that uh, you save it and then close out. But we've got one more program that we need to install and that's the tools daemon. So if we double click on that folder that is created, there's a nice install package. So if we go install, intermediate user, proceed, proceed for real, proceed. And then in which directory would you like the tools pref to be installed? Well, I'd like it to go onto sys prefs. That's generally where you want stuff to go. So click on proceed. I'm going to choose English, but obviously choose the language that you want. And there we go. The most easiest install program I think there is around for the Amiga. So there we go. Um, that's done. So what is left now is to just do a restart of the Amiga. And then if we right click on the desktop, we then get our nice fancy menu. So we've still got the menu at the top, so that's all still there. But the right click menu on the desktop is just really handy because like if you're in a folder, you don't have to go all the way up to the top, select there. You can just quickly, there we go, show all files and it just speeds things up a little bit. Now, the key tool, the, the tools daemon one, that um, is really going to help um, speed up your productivity on the Amiga and just using the Amiga in general is uh, the shortcuts tool. So basically we've got this one called tools prefs now. Uh, it can be found within the preferences, but that's a long winded way of getting all the way to there. It's, it's just easy to right click, go tools, tool prefs, and there we go. So this is the way we can set up our kind of shortcuts. Now imagine you've got a load of programs. So under tools, um, I've got Hippo Player. So I use Hippo Player all the time to play my music. So I want a quick way to access um, this. Now I could just um, in traditionally just right click on the icon and leave the icon out and have it on the desktop here. But as more and more programs you, you get, that gets a bit untidy. And as well, it's, it's, it's keeping it in memory. So let's uh, put that back away. So it's back in its folder. And let's set up a shortcut. So in the menu, I want to add Hippo Player. So we go to New, and it highlights a new area underneath. And then let's type in hippo player. Okay, press enter. Always remember to press enter because then it registers uh, that change. And then under this area where it says commands, we need to add a new command. Now, where are we going? Well, we're going to sys, where our system is. I'm going to the tools folder. So my next one is tools, then forward slash uh, hippo player. So that's the next folder, hippo player, forward slash. And then the final bit is HIP, because that's the program we want to run, HIP. Press enter again and make sure that it appears under this commands bit up here. So, uh, all that's left to do is click save and then if I right click you'll see there's a utilities and hippo player right click on it there you go nice and fast that is a really quick way to open up your applications and obviously you can just expand and go crazy with this 
So directory opus, a program that we often probably use quite a lot. Directory opus, right, okay, let's set up another one. So let's uh, right click, go to tool prefs, go to new. Um, I'm going to call this D opus for short. Press enter, add a command. So where was this? So this was under my sys folder again. Uh, this was under tools. And then it was under a folder called uh, directory opus. So dir opus four. And then what's the name of the actual program? It's the full word directory opus. So let's just type that directory opus. Press enter. There we go. Click save. And then Let's close all of these windows, keep it nice and tidy, go to utilities, there we go, directory opus, click on that, boom, straight away. So I hope this video has really helped you. Um, it's an awesome tool that I really recommend uh, that if, if you go use the Amiga operating system and the Amiga OS for, for any length of time really, then these, these tips um, become really useful and just using the program you got to save loads and loads of time in just making these shortcuts rather than having to delve through menus and tools and yeah, yeah i'm already falling asleep so anyway thanks for watching and i'll see you in another video oh and don't forget to like this video if you found it really useful thanks a lot